All right, we're here. We're gonna go sign up. We're late regging the, the Raz, 10K Raz. We've got like one hour left. All right, 10K Raz, we got one hour. See if we can spin this up. 10 big bets, that's about normal for me. late regulars win every tournament anyway so what's the difference half the field's probably out and we're still in so 10 big bets it's two hands to the end you guys watch me play every hand i never have 10 big bets all right let's go would you would you like to pick your card yes let's go one 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 nineteen one Thank you. You're very welcome. All right, let's see if we can spin this up. What's up? Hold on. Right next to Jen. Perfect. Well, I'm not happy. We, we literally went down to 20,000 right away. We had four to a six. And uh, Bryce Jockey's in there with nines every hand. and. He just makes a nine. I hit king queen. But anyway, I was down to like 25k. I then double one pot, double back to 50k. Then I won another pot. Then I won another pot. And I had 104 with five. And then they said we're done. We're five hands to go in the night. 104. I was so happy. I get dealt deuce four six and ace four six, back to back. And the deuce four six hand, the goofball fucking caps at 15,000. He's trying to get all in. I hit a 10, the other person hits like a queen, whatever, the other person hits a five, the guy bets, whatever, 500 is all in, I call, the other guy makes it, who has a six draw, makes it 3,000, the guy with the four or five calls, I know he paired fives, which is never good, but I still have to call, small street, at 3,000, now, um, uh, I hit a, a king or whatever. Uh, the other guy, ace five, hits like a king, and four or five hits an eight. But I know he's paired on five, so I have to call. I gotta call one more street, 6,000. Um, and then sixth street, they hit ace. They both hit ace, ace and a fucking three. And the guy who ace made a six right right then and there, which I knew it. I mean, those cards were so live. And the guy who was capping it with ace three five, he also hit a three and a deuce. So all my they all hit all my cards. I mean, it's basically whoever got lucky. I had deuce four six. The other guy started with deuce five six. The other guy started with deuce five six. And the other guy started with ace three five. And uh, if I catch the ace and the three, we have. 200,000 chips. If they catch it, we end up losing a 15 plus 9, 25k in the pot. Started to handle 104. So now I got 80. And I'm way more happy to finish today. Uh, I then have uh, with Jen behind me. I raised 4, 5, 8, 4 up. She calls. She had a small card. I had a small card, so I had four to an eight. And uh, her hand was, she had four or five showing. Uh, she hits a seven. I had a blank. A check caller on this street. And then I fold the next street. Uh, I'm sorry, then I make an eight to a wheel draw. I'm sorry. Yeah. She has a six, so she's showing. Uh, Showing four, five, six, seven. I have uh, ace, three, four, five, eight. I, I still don't see any deuces out, and, I, and one six out. As it turns out, she had a six made. Uh, I, but I do, I, I do win with a deuce or or a six. So I lose like all the way to the river there, three thousand, six thousand, and twelve thousand, twenty-four thousand more. And uh, I totally finished with that's 56,000, and I emptied off the next hand. So 55,000 started with 60. 
kind, kind, kind of depressing because you know I, I spun the 20 up to 104 and um, I, I mean I was like oh great you know I get 100k stack 10 big bets go on the next day I want you know thousand dollar annies I was really happy but I mean it really is all about the late ridge I mean think about it I, I come in with an hour to go and lose the first hand down to 30 and then I win three hands and I was up at 104 you know which was over that's average was over average stack all I had to do is just hold like not I wasn't even going to enter any hands the last five maybe you know I mean, I, I only raised the four, five, eight because there was only one baby behind me and Jen. Maybe I could save the six thousand and fold on Sixth Street. When she's got four, five, six, seven showing. But I mean, I, I mean, if she's paired on one, you know, now all that, then I could catch a, a, a seven and win. As it turns out, she had a six made, and I had to catch a a six or a deuce. So. It's kind of tilting, but anyways, I got five big bets going tomorrow. I just wanted to have ten big bets, you know, going on the next day. That you know, they laugh, but I mean, it's hard to get fucking like ten big bets unless you're fucking a card rack. For me, ten big bets is like a million. Whatever, it's just like buying in the next day two. I mean, we took a chance to run it up, and we did. We ran it up. I said, if, 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 if the cards were meant for me, when I deuce four six, I'd have two hundred thousand right now. So it's just the way it goes. I'm gonna go switch on deep here, see how he's doing, and um, I will see you tomorrow. Restart of the ten k Raz, and then the secret bounty if we get knocked out. Well, I just watched Sean Deeb win a bracelet. Uh, we're sweating him. Playing no limit hold him. Flop come deuce, deuce, five, two diamonds. He had king, ten. King of diamonds. He floated the flop. Hit a ten of diamonds on the turn. Another ten on the river. And Sean check raised him. All in, and the guy called him with two queens. And, uh, like, Sean has no bluffs there. The board's deuce, deuce, five, ten, ten. He just has no bluffs. And, he, and Sean won his six bracelet told you guys once in a generation talent he is no but he's already got a first a second and a fifth he is really fucking good now, i am good but i'm not sean d that's why when we played head up i wanted to beat him so bad because it meant so much to me i know how good he is you know i know i could compete with everybody and josh has a bracelet sean's got a bracelet nick shulman's got a bracelet this year there's a lot of fucking tournament left. I'm going to focus, spin this up in the RAS. And if I don't, I'm going to play the Secret Bounty. And I'm going to fucking win. Because I'm a winner. Winners win. Losers cry about how bad they're running. Winners win. How you doing, Mike? Good. Let me see that thing get up there. What's that? Find that fucking walker up there. I don't know. I'm taking I'm taking video of there's there's a five time bracelet winner. Josh Aria, limit hold'em specialist. <laughs> Best limit hold'em player in the world. There he is. Sean Deep, tell the world what it's a feel like to win number six, brother. It feels just like the other ones, but being a little better than Josh is the sweetest part. Yes, it is. It is. Now I'm not Ashley's favorite player. You, you still are. I'm second. I'm second. Wait a minute. Because Josh can make me best man. So Mul multiple bracelet winners around me. Sean Deeb, Josh Aria. All right. Got our food, but we're running late. Running, so get ready. I'm gonna eat my food when I get there, I guess. Hopefully, I'm gonna eat this. Play energy 
this level of A. Pain's not bad. But I really am trying to get on a routine where I can eat at 12. Um, take my Adderall and I'll be ready to go. Right now I have no food in my system, no protein in my system, no anything in my system. something in my system. So I just hope that this food will help me. Yeah, the carry big headaches. Uh no. I sh- I shit you not. I don't give a fuck what Phil Homie says. Raz is the dumbest, stupidest fucking game there is. Very first hand dealt. Guy limps an eight, and everyone folds. <clears throat> I have a nine up. I got a uh, ace five in the hole. He catches a uh, like six. I catch a three. Ace three five nine. Whatever he's got. 6-8 showing. He bets. I call. The next street, I got 6. I got ace 3. I got ace 3. 5, 6, 9 made. And, um, I don't know, he catches us like a 4 or whatever. So, he actually limped like 8, eight 7, 3. So anyways, yeah, that's it. Two, three, four, five. First four versus three napkins and a fucking queen and a king. And they both hit 6-6 six, six on fucking 5th Street. I knew I was dead when they both hit 6-6. Six, six. The first hand I lose today, like I was saying, so I have uh, ace, three, five, six, nine made. And um, he has four to an eight showing, but was... Uh, he had a three and a seven, and so he was paired on sevens, and he had an eight, and he caught another seven on the river. I mean, if I catch a seven on the river, I make a seven. He catches seven, seven. But he couldn't, he couldn't be an eight, seven, you know, with a six draw and a nine. That was the first can they had. I don't know, man. This was this was very frustrating. I mean, I mean I, the, the two Raz hand, Raz is such a stupid game. I'll never change my mind. Phil just ran good in it. He thinks he's good. It's a joke. Three napkins and fucking a queen and a king. You can win that hand. It's a full double. I get 40k. This is stupid. It's so fucking dumb. I never make a hand in Raz. I'm so pissed. I gotta decide what I want to play. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Yeah.